In this video, I'm going to show you how to install the Minn Kota Co-Pilot wireless remote control system on a Minn Kota power drive trolling motor. Well, this is what the package looks like. This is what the remote looks like. And you're going to want to make sure that you get the right system for your power drive motor. They make two of these versions. You can take a look at your serial model number and make sure that you order the correct one. I'll put a link in the description on how to buy these off Amazon for the particular motor that I'm installing this on. You can find your model number and the actual number of your power drive unit. This is a 45 pound thrust, 48 inch, with the BT after it. You want to look for that BT and match that up with the correct co-pilot. It's going to be hard to see, but right there by my finger is the production date of 2017. So if your motor is made 2017 or newer, you're going to want the BT model. If it's older than 2017, you're going to want the V2 model. Before you install your new Copilot wireless system, you're going to want to make sure you disconnect your battery before doing any of the following steps. First thing we need to do is remove these two side plates. We have this one on this side, there's one on the other side, and there's four screws total. We'll unscrew those and remove those two side plates. The two screws removed, you can pull this side plate straight off. Move this side, just push in a little bit on this wire and pull out on the cover at the same time. And slide it out of the way. So if you take a look at your right side plate, you have these two screw mounts. That's where your co-pilot receiver is going to mount to. Now you can attach it to the two screws provided in the kit. Now that the receiver is mounted, you can route your antenna wire through the slots in these pegs. And you just simply push down and work your way around towards the back. So when you're done, your antenna wire should look like this. Now we need to deploy the motor. Now we need to lift this center housing and you can do that by squeezing in right here on these two slots. You'll see this big hole here, there's one on the other side. You'll see a slot cut in right here. Simply squeeze in and lift up. And now we need to remove this strain relief bracket. Once again, another Phillips screw. Now undo the cable that's connected to your foot pedal. And now you can lay your right side plate up on top of your boat. And we need to make a connection for the foot pedal and for the power. At least can only go one way. So I'm going to go ahead and plug in the foot pedal first. And there's little location tabs on here, so line those up and screw together. And now we're going to connect the co-pilot to the power connection on the trolling motor. Once again, location tabs on both as well. And now go ahead and install your strain relief bracket. You got your power cable here going to your trolling motor batteries. And then this one here is going to your foot pedal. This one here is open. The power cable is going to go up underneath here and come out this side. So we should only have these two cables going through the strain relief bracket. And now go ahead and push your center housing back in place. Now you're going to want to stow the motor. And we're going to want to reattach this left side. Now the left side is the one with the cable going through it. And now we'll reinstall the two screws. This is the trickiest part, is tucking this wire inside this housing putting it back on so that no wires are pinched, and reinstalling the two screws. The right side cover's on, go ahead and deploy your motor. Make sure that your prop is out of the way of your trailer tongue. 
Now go ahead and reconnect your trolling motor battery. And now just make sure that your trolling motor is not going to hit your trailer tongue or anything else. On your fob, go ahead and hit the prop on button. And now go ahead and test the other functions. So we'll add some speed. And with the prop off, I'm just going to do a little left and right to double check that that's working as well. And now congratulate yourself on installing your own Copilot wireless remote. Give yourself about 30 minutes tops. It's really pretty easy. The hardest part is getting the wires tucked in on that right side. The rest of it is pretty self-explanatory. It does come with fairly good directions. Hopefully this video will help you install it. Hope you guys found this video helpful and informational, and good luck fishing.